Hello, my sweet virtual friends. Welcome back. Happy Friday. So it has been a week. I am so excited that you guys are here watching my video and that you are ready to learn. So let's go ahead and get started. So we are going to be finishing up our War of 1812 project today. So you guys are going to be creating your script today for what you have your event at. So I'm going to walk you through everything that we have done and show you just kind of what I expect of you guys so that you guys can see what I need from you and that way there is no confusion because oh my gosh I hate when you guys get confused and I oh I just want to help you my sweet little babies. So we are going to get going. So let me review just a little bit and give you a little bit of reminders as we go through. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys. All right, so last Friday you guys had made a web diagram and then on Monday we kind of did a little bit together so that we could see it. So what I have for you here is that we, hold on, little things out there. All right, cool. So we have our web diagram and our example was the event of the Star Spangled Banner. And then <clears throat> we have the one detail of who wrote the song. We then have the detail of where it was written and then the other detail of what was happening with the war at this time. Now you should have eight details. I know there's only six on here, but you should have eight details. Then you guys on Monday created your outline. So this is where your eight pieces went in on your outline to get ready for your script. So we have on our first one, we have who wrote the song and then we had detail of naming of the composer and then we have where it was written. So what we want to look at is, OK, do we have our outline in order? So we can go back to our lovely social studies weekly. This is what it looks like. And this is the section for the Star Spangled Banner. So we can scroll down. There we go. And we can read through it and check and make sure to see what is what and is it where we need it to be. So if we read through it, you will notice that in the second paragraph, it tells us that in September of 1814, the United States and Great Britain fought a terrible battle near Baltimore, Maryland. OK, so this piece of information will probably be best if it was first. So see, we have, you know, where it was written. However, we don't have really what's going on in the war. Now, what's going on in the war is probably going to be our number one. So this will probably need to change to be number two, Oop, number two. I know it looks out of order right now. OK, and then we'll come down here and we'll do number three, number one. And it'll be, you know, where, what is happening in the war? OK, and then we'll write the detail of what is now, this is what your script page will look like just to help you with writing your script. So since we wrote that our number one is what is happening in the war, we are going to write our type of sentence for what is happening in the war. So we're going to look back here and now what happened? What is happening in the war is that United States and Great Britain fought a terrible battle near Baltimore, Maryland. So we're going to think of a type of sentence. Now, the type of sentence, if I'm telling you where this is happening and what's going on, I would be creating a declarative sentence because I am making a statement. I am telling you something about where this is happening and what's happening currently in the War of 1812. So. Let us go back to our web diagram. This guy keeps disappearing. And we are going to think of a declarative sentence. Now in our declarative sentences, they have periods. Yes, we need to remember our punctuation, my sweet friends. So let us think. So we can say that the United States and 
Great Britain are currently at war. Let's double check. All right, so they are fighting a terrible battle. OK, so we're not quite on at war, so let's fix it. They are currently fighting a terrible battle. OK, so let's fix this just a little bit. OK, whoops. OK, they're currently fighting a terrible battle. Now, it would be very helpful if we put in September of 1814, and then we have a comma. OK, so what I have, oh my goodness. There we go so we can see it better. So what I have is I have a statement. I have a declarative sentence and I have made a statement about what is currently happening in the War of 1812 and where we are kind of taking place a little bit. So I have completed it with my, hold on, with my period. So my period is there and my punctuation is there. So now let's move on to number two. So who wrote the song? OK, so let's create a fun sentence for who wrote it. Now, who wrote it was a lawyer named Francis Scott's key. This is actually a picture of him from back in that time. So we need to think of a fun sentence now because we already have a declarative sentence. We want to think of another one. So we still have our surprising, our exclamatory, we have our interrogative and our imperative. Now we're not really giving a command, so we can't use imperative. Interrogate, interrogative, we're not really asking a question, but we could maybe. And then exclamatory, we got to figure out something exciting. OK, so let us think of a good sentence here. Now let's see. Hmm. We could write, do you know who wrote? Hmm, let's see. Do you know what? Hmm, what historical song was created during this time? OK, so there we have a fun little sentence to get our script going. Now you. So you have to remember, my sweet friends, that this is supposed to be like a fun little play. So get creative. Think of fun little different sentences like this. And now with our script, you do not have to move to the third one to finish to keep this going. You can continue right here. It doesn't have to be one sentence per a little section like this. So on number two, we have, do you know what historical song was created during this time? So we have our interrogative sentence right here with our question mark because it is super important to have a question mark when we're asking a question. Oh, hold on, let me. And then now we can write the Star Spangled Banner was written during the War of 1812, 1812 by Francis Scott key period okay because I am making another statement hold on here we go all right so here's this thing my sweet friends this may seem like it's going to it may seem complicated but I promise you it's supposed to be fun and we're getting through just kind of creating a little fun little play for you guys so don't worry if it takes you a little bit more time to do this please 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 take your time your sentence do not have to be as lengthy as mine as long as they are complete sentence with punctuation in them uh, you can write it however you want to write it you do not have to write it exactly how I'm writing it which actually I would prefer if you guys did not use my examples for the star spangled banner uh, if you guys need help with writing sentences, please feel free to email me and I will be happy to help you write out a sentence and think of a good way to write a sentence if you need help. 
So let's see. So we have our first two sections. So then on number three, that is where we would write where where it was written. Now, where the Star Spangled Banner was written wasn't just here in Baltimore. We if we go back, it says that Francis Scott Key was on a ship. He was on a ship in the harbor. OK, he was trying to help an American prisoner freed. So he was on the middle of a ship when he was trying to write this. So, so that's where we would put number three. We would write about how Francis Scott Key was on a ship in a harbor at this time. So my sweet friends, I just want to reiterate and or explain to you again, I'm so sorry, that I need at least eight sections for your script. I need at least eight sentences. You do not have to create two sentences for each one. You can do just one, just like how we have it up here on number one. But if you need to add more to one of yours, like how we did for number two, that is fine by me, okay? So then we will have your number three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you guys will be doing this though through a forms assignment just to make it a little bit easier for you guys. Uh, I don't want it to be too complicated for you guys to have to print this out, write on it. Uh, or try and write on this inside of Teams. So we are going to be doing this through a forms assignment. So if you got, like I said, if you guys have any questions or you need help with writing the script, please, 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 please email me. I will be happy to help you guys and walk you through anything that you need help with. I know that this is a little bit more difficult for you guys at home because you don't have me right there to sit and help you write those sentences out. So please, you guys, you guys got this. I know you do, but please, please feel free to email me and I will answer you as best as I can. Uh, but when you email me, make sure you tell me exactly what you're having a problem with. OK, tell me, OK, I'm trying to write a sentence like this, but I can't quite get it there. OK, so just let me know what it is and how you already kind of think you want to do it and I'll help you tweak it and I'll help you explain it out. OK, so like I said, if you guys have questions, email me. Good luck, you guys. You guys are going to do just amazing on this. I promise. Don't freak out. I can already like feel the vibes of y'all freaking out just a little bit. Don't freak out. It'll be amazing. It'll be great. You guys are awesome. Okay. So I will see you guys later. You guys have a wonderful weekend. I hope to hear from you guys. All right. Bye. Did it go? Nope. Now it's going to go. <laughs>